Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Retro Gamers Podcast, episode number, I don't know, 325, let's say. Larry here. And Anthony here. And what is going on, sir? How are you? I'm doing okay. How are you? I am I am refreshed. Everything you, is great. You said what wait a minute. Well, what is that? Is that a you got it? This it's right. No, 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 wait, no, it's where, below where? your nose. It's above your chin. Is that a could that be a smile? No, it's not a smile. I've never I've known you for almost 30 years, probably. I've uh, never seen a smile on your face. I know not not only a smile, but a genuine smile. <laughs> That's the key word, folks. Genuine. Uh, yes, it is a genuine smile. Uh, yes, I I just came back from a, a wonderful two week vacation. Well, actually, I'm still on my vacation. Looks like it. Yeah, that's not yeah, your apartment. So, no, it's definitely not my apartment. Uh, yeah. So uh, so we don't have a lot of time to record this because they're going to knock and kick me out so they can clean the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's but true. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. So just had a wonderful two week vacation. Awesome. Uh, was uh, fortunate enough to I took a cruise to Alaska with some friends. There you go. Absolutely beautiful. Um, be- literally beautiful is like an understatement. Uh, got some had saw some great places. Stunning imagery. Uh, uh, n- yeah, incomparable. Nothing. Oh, no, yeah. Like it. I-, I can't compare it to most of the other vacations. I've done, so. Uh, <laughs> So I highly recommend if you ever want to take a trip, try try a trip to Alaska. Take a trip down the thing to Alaska. I'm yes. dying to go to Alaska. Maybe not on a cruise, but I'm just dying yeah. to go to Alaska. Period. Oh yeah, no, that was it was totally a bucket list thing for me. So right. I'm, uh, I'm glad I I'm glad I did it before the bucket got kicked. So <laughs> yeah. awesome. Well, I'm happy for you truly. And I did see some of those photos that you mentioned. Obviously, I knew where you were, uh, yes. and it looked it looked awesome. So very very cool. Yes, definitely awesome. Uh, we got to do. Uh, we should do. Uh, we should do like a one week retro gamers like uh, uh, on vacation type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be just as good as the facts of life going to Paris. That's right. <laughs> Imagine let's uh, let's do let's us run a cruise. But by cruise, I mean, probably a small catamaran and only yes. probably like just around Long Island Sound. <laughs> no, I I envision a tugboat with just like. <laughs> <laughs> there were 10 televisions <laughs> and a system hooked up to each the retro gamers cruise but the tugboat's still working still pushing a garbage barge out yes, somewhere to stand yes Island. It is. yes what's that smell <laughs> shut up and play games <laughs> oh it will happen folks yes. it will happen so uh, well welcome back anyway welcome back to land and thank welcome you. back to the podcast. Uh, we had Felix on last week. So. Yes, and thank thank you, Felix, for uh, sitting in for me while I was uh, at sea. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did not get an opportunity to listen to the episode, but that's I'm okay. Sh- I'm sure it was more than colorful. It was <laughs> with Felix always. Yes. Um, no, last week just to fill you in, we just talked about um, kind of because it was kind of last minute, but uh, we just talked about some of the movie movie trailers that dropped recently, video game based, uh, like well, Dungeons and Dragons we talked about, but that already happened, and then Gran nice. Turismo and um, and uh, 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 Twisted Metal, the okay. TV series that's coming out. Very so. cool. Very cool. So Very cool. hey, well, so I again, you're on vacation. I get it. Uh, but any chance of any gaming or game related stores or anything up where you are there in Canada or where you are, whatever you are right now? Yeah, well, no, well, I'm in Seattle right now. Oh, okay. Um, but as fate would have it, uh, a couple of things went down. One was um, while we were at sea, I took an opportunity to take out my Switch because I brought my Switch with me. There you go. Uh, and not only did I bring my Switch with me, but I unwrapped some of my games that I haven't. <laughs> taken out yet you still had switch games still in the cellophane no i still do <laughs> I, I didn't unwrap them all <laughs> but i went through my switch games and decided to uh i was like okay i need to move the old ones out that i completed <laughs> my travel bag oh and, okay i got you. i need to put the new ones in so um so i unwrapped and had the opportunity to play briefly i didn't play that much on the cruise i played uh, played briefly when we were at sea so i gave the new pokemon snap game a shot oh, okay literally several shots actually <laughs> um it was and, and gotta say was a lot of fun reminded me of the n64 one okay um, so that was kind of cool uh and then i took out and tried bowser's fury um, oh tell me awesome Yes, right. Awesome, super fun. Oh, fantastic! Uh, so I played that for a bit. Um, Good. 
and that was cool. But that was my extent of uh, video game playing on the Vigata, yeah. you know, during the trip because there was a there was a lot we were doing. Um, and then I decided. Um, so when I got to Vancouver, Vancouver was where we left from. So mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I go, I'm in Vancouver. Um, maybe I can find a video game store here since uh, we were there for a couple of days before the cruise. Mm-hmm. And then I had this harebrained scheme <laughs> put together where I'm like, oh, you know what? I go. I'm going to try and buy a video game at every stop on the cruise. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So I'm like, we're going through Alaska. We're making several stops. I'm just going to see if I can hit up a store and find a game somewhere. I can't imagine. And I don't mean this in a bad way. I can't imagine as many retro game stores in Alaska. Um, Um, uh, With the stops that I was on, you are correct. (laughs) <laughs> when it's only like two huts or whatever, like for like an old fishing village. No, no. You're not going to find, they, yeah. They're not old. Okay, so one of them was kind of like that. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, little, fair. Not not hut related, but like it was really, really small, like really yeah. remote. So needless to say, um, there were a couple of stops we made. I was completely out of luck. There was, <laughs> it, it was, it, no, I'm just saying like the towns, some of the towns are very remote. Mm-hmm. One of the one of them was literally like it looked kind of like a little fishing village. It was just a few homes um, and a couple of things. Like we didn't go into the main town. We just, you know, we docked at the port and it was what was there. Yeah. Um, but I did get lucky in a few other places. So oh, okay. uh, so very quickly, I'm going to go through them in yeah. no in no particular order uh, in terms of like where I was. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh I did so when I was in Vancouver. I found this store, um, and again went wandering around. We we mapped it out, ma- you know. Uh, we, yeah. uh, I mapped out where I was going. So I found a store, and it was called. I don't remember the name of it. It was called Triple M Buy and Sell. Okay. Um, so it kind of looked like it kind. I'll be honest with you. It kind of looked like a pawn shop to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but they had a ton of like um, DVDs and video games and stuff like that. So. Um, I just tried to pick out something to get to say I purchased something there, but he had a lot of stuff. Um, so I grabbed a copy of um, uh, since we are celebrating Legend of Zelda, which we'll get to later. Um, I did grab uh, Legend of Zelda: A Link Between Worlds on the 3DS. Very nice, very good. Uh, it was very cool. It was funny too because when I bought it, I asked him. I said because he had two copies, and the first one he pulled out, I said, "Oh, this one doesn't have." This one doesn't have the instruction booklet. Uh-oh. Can you give me one with the instruction yeah. booklet? Um, and then he opened the other one, and the other one had a little slip in there that said, oh, the instruction booklet's available online. So they, I don't think they came with instruction booklets. Oh, you know what? You're That's a good call. They, in the modern, yeah. like The more modern games might not have. Yeah, so they didn't come Because with Switch games don't really come with instruction booklets. No, they don't. So, yeah. you know, so I grabbed the uh, you know, original okay. copy. It's in good shape. What does that say on the front? Uh, on the front? There's a, there's a, there was a... Was that a rainbow? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. No, this is nice because I bought it in Canada. It is playable in French. <laughs> en français. Yes. So, you know, so when Link shows up on the screen, he goes, oh, ha, ha. No, uh, <laughs> Le Link. Yes. Oh, very uh, cool. Yeah. So, uh, a great game. I, I love that game. Yeah. And I've never played it. So, and um, I don't, I don't remember if I beat it. it. Yeah. But uh, Link Between Worlds. Very so cool. I got, got that one in Vancouver. Okay. Then we go to, um, we go to Alaska. Okay, so like mm-hmm. I said, two of the stops I went on didn't find anything. Mm-hmm. Went to Juno. Now Juno, I thought oh, was yeah. Juno, I thought was the best opportunity to find a game. Yeah. Right. Um, so we get to Juno. We pour. We we dock. Get off. Right at right where you get off the dock. Tons of stores. Right, but they're all tourist stores. Oh, thank and you. not only are they all tourist stores, I think it's safe to say that fifty to sixty percent of the stores jewelry stores and i'm not kidding it was hmm. really weird like interesting five, like five jewelry stores in a row <laughs> like you and they all looked like they were selling the same stuff so i'm like i go how much jewelry do they sell here it was insane <laughs> uh, and that was kind of like a running joke on the trip mm-hmm. most like two of the stops we made it was like half of the stores were jewelry stores it was <laughs> crazy so um got to juno no video game stores. Yeah, okay. And I'm like, well, I go, but because of a previous stop we made uh, and a store I saw, I said, oh, I go, here's an opportunity to find a video game somewhere that's not just a traditional video game store. So uh, we wandered over, uh, or I wandered over to a Salvation Army. 
Ooh, it's actually it's, that's not a bad place to shop, no matter where you are. Yeah, so in the was, states. exactly. So I was like, let me go check out Salvation Army. So yeah. I get to, so I find the Salvation Army in Juno. Walked like a mile from the <laughs> yeah. boat to get there. Um, <laughs> they had very, very, very few games. Because to be honest with you, I think um, I think the cities that we went to, like they predominantly they're they're working. Towns. yeah i would imagine so, that and I, again touristy as well like you said you know if they got these big giant boats yeah, pulling in so exactly so yeah. people aren't pulling in saying "Ooh, i have to get a video exactly game. plus i just don't think maybe video games aren't a big part of their lives it's you know the import thing and 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 the mm-hmm. internet up there is usually terrible like as far yeah. as like dlc uh, downloads and everything so yeah yeah so when i so at salvation army honestly there really there were maybe two games yeah, and one of them something. was yeah, and one of them was a uh, one of them was like a like an educational game for kids. It was like a Carmen San Diego educational oh. game. So I didn't grab that, um, but I did find um, uh, this was a Windows game. So okay. I grabbed uh, Lego Indiana Jones. Oh, that's it, cool. Yeah, it was honestly the only thing that was there. Mm-hmm. So uh, so I just grabbed it to say I grabbed it. Um, Very cool. Uh, the it, I won't share the inside of it because it looks a little funky. Um, <laughs> it, I'm gonna give it a new case. Oh, okay, uh, let's just enough. say that. Uh, either that, or I just, or I'm bringing back, uh, I'm bringing back some Alaskan alien <laughs> disease. I'm not sure what it is. Anyway, the thing. Uh, right. So that's that was that. Um, All then right. We, cool. Then, so that then uh, we move on. Uh, I'm saving. I'm saving one of the Alaska ones for for the end because I thought it, okay. I was really surprised at what I found there. Seattle yesterday wandered over to a store um, called, let me see, let me see. It's called Pink Gorilla Games. Pink Gorilla okay. Games. <laughs> um, really cool store specialized in, uh, they, they, they are, well, not specialized in, but they carried a lot of imports I saw there, which was really Oh, cool. that's cool. Um, so they have three stores in Seattle. One, again, was in walking distance. Uh, mm-hmm. When I say walking distance, I say I'm about a mile or less. So this one... <laughs> This one was about this one was about half a mile away from the hotel. So you okay. can really get super nice people. We chatted a little bit about um, Tears of the Kingdom because I went there on Friday when okay. it came out, and I was like, "Oh, I was like, so you know, I asked uh, the, the woman behind the counter. I'm like, yeah, I was like, so so how how did the te- you know how did your <laughs> launch day go? She's like, oh man, she's like, she's like everybody called. That at a certain point she was like, "Oh yeah," she's like, "I just answered the phone." She's like, "Tears of the Kingdom, how can I help you?" <laughs> uh, Tears of the Kingdom not available. <laughs> yeah, ba- basically. But she said she was, uh, you know, they said they were one of the last stores to sell out of it to people, mm. but most people did pre-orders. So, uh, right. so Pink Gorilla Games was really cool. So I picked mm. up a couple. I picked up a couple of things there. Uh, the first one was I actually have this game for the Xbox, but I don't think I have this portion of it so or this version of it so um it's for original xbox it's fable oh such a great game right but it's the lost chapters version because they okay. had released the lost chapters for it yeah and then i think they released another version where it was all together i think like an anniversary edition or something yeah like so yeah. if i remember right correctly i only have the original fable so i don't have the lost chapters so i saw it sitting there and i'm like okay let me grab it that's cool it has the instruction booklet which is there nice. you go yeah so you know really old. Platinum hits. I love that gray box. It's yeah. something about the gray. It just popped. Yeah, it was really cool. So I'm really yeah. so I was happy to find that. And okay. it, it kind of reminded me of how much I wanted to play Fable and still haven't. And that reminds so, me, I gotta get my Xbox fixed. My my original Xbox is I, I think shy. Uh well mine I bought from um uh game on. So yeah, that's what I'd have to do. Uh, yeah. And then I saw this there. Uh, this game there and i bought it even though it did not have the packaging because it is a pricier game um Mm -hmm. and it's one that i've wanted in my collection for a while and i also didn't realize they released it on the playstation i thought it was just released on the 3do and maybe the saturn but um but i grabbed d oh there you go station um and d was one of those like horror themed interactive movie games yep that was released um, and I also just realized, like, because I was looking at, I was trying to look it up online. Yeah. Um, so they only made, I think, 40, I want to say, no, 28,000 units of That's this it. for the PlayStation. Wow. They didn't make a ton of these. So when you look for them online, they're a bit pricey. Hmm. Um, but when I saw it there, I said, you know what? I'm like, most of the time, I don't like it when I get it without the box. But this yeah, right. One, this one, I kind of made an exception. So I got to just get. Obviously. One disc or two? Three. Three? Oh, weird. Three discs. So I got to get a uh, So I got to get a case for these. You know, and I can tell, I'll be honest with you right now, because I've been on a, 
I won't talk about this week, but I've been on such an Etsy run, like getting stuff, ordering tons of not games, but just like st stuff, which I'll show you in a little bit. One thing, but um, they do have some places on Etsy will sell uh, the front art, not the instruction booklet, but just like the front jewel case art and then the back jewel case art. Mm. Um, actually i showed a few weeks ago i showed one of my i think it was saturn or or a, a sega cd game i had to get the back art for it oh, i got okay. it off Etsy and it was go it looked it looked original you know what i mean oh, nice. so you could definitely recreate something when you get a chance all right cool yeah yeah so i'll definitely i'll definitely get a case to take care of that all right and then the, la the last one i'm going to talk about so when so the first stop we made in alaska was uh called ketchikan ketchikan alaska Catch um no, catch can. Um, uh, cool, honestly, cool little town. Really enjoyed visit. <laughs> really enjoyed visiting there. Um, we did a nice uh, excursion to a rainforest while we were there, oh, which was wow. nice. Um, yeah, that was really cool. We got to see uh, a bald eagle. We saw a snowy really? owl. Yeah, it was it was gorgeous. Nice. Bald, by the way, bald eagles everywhere, everywhere, nests Good. everywhere. You can just kind of see them hanging around, living their lives. You know. <laughs> Killing, walking. killing rodents. Well, one of the people on our group went on a, a jeep excursion um, at one of the locations, and they literally watched the bald eagle swoop down into the water, grab a salmon, oh, and just fly off. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. That was uh, right I'd love before to see that. That was right before they saw a brown bear. Um, <laughs> Why you? <laughs> yeah, Shaking was, his hand at the eagle. Yep, yep, yep. Yogi is real. Uh, you can so find I, a lot of stuff at Camp Kikiki. Yes. So anyway, so it was in Ketchikan, um, and it was funny because the, the, I got the Salvation Army idea because when we were on the bus to go to our excursion, we drove by one. Oh, okay. And I'm like, oh, I go, I wonder if this is close enough to walk to from the ship when we get back. Yeah. Turns out it was. It wasn't that far away from like everything mm -hmm. else. So it was very easy to walk. So I said, hey, I go. Uh, so um, yeah. the person I was with, I was like, let's just wander over there. Um, maybe I can find a game. So I was like, so walked in there. Uh, small store, you know, small Salvation Army. They're not that, that what you that make thing. me want to go to. Yeah, I want to go to Salvation Army now here. Just to look. This is right. something we should do. Now, yeah, in the future. Yeah. You know. Well, you know, we never really do the thrifting portion of shopping. I, uh, so agreed. And, total, and we absolutely should. Agreed. But, mm -hmm. but like, specifically like when Salvation I found Army, the, but, yeah. yeah, but like a couple weeks ago, like you know, found the power glove. Oh yeah, and, you know, <laughs> yeah. Just, it was, that was bad. Yeah. Yeah, that that was. So went to uh, so went so went to this little store in Ketchikan, mm -hmm. and I was really surprised with what I found, um, okay. because I honestly wasn't expecting to find anything. But uh, so I found three games there. Oh, okay. I found three, <clears throat> um, and I again I bought them for the sake of buying them, but I also bought them because they wound up being really cool. Um, so the first one is um, the first one is a PC game. Okay. I, I think we all know this one. Uh, it is Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Ooh, very nice. Yeah. And it's in the original case. Yeah. With the instruction booklet Beauty. and the disc. Looks Beautiful. really nice. Great shape. Yep. Uh, it's also got the code on the bottom on the front. Because oh. <laughs> um, you know how they have those. Don't lose oh, this number. Right. It says already, don't that. lose this number because you can't play the game without putting the code. No, you're right. You're right. I forgot about that. You... Yeah. So so got that. Man, sounds like you just uh, broke it. No, no, no. The, the, the this game has. Oh. The keyboard reference. So when yes. you play it, like oh use the buttons God. you have to use. Yeah. So that's, that's why really I hated cool. PC gaming. Yeah. Well, also, but they also have the mouse instruction. Oh, that's good. Okay. Look yeah. at that mouse. Good yeah, lord. Remember, remember that mouse? <laughs> good old rectangular mouse. <laughs> that was not ergodynamic. No, not at all. So that was so found that. Okay. Um, second one I found. Uh, this is a play uh, PlayStation One game, and I think it's the original version. Okay. Uh, not like a greatest hits one. Yeah, but I, I found a copy of Rayman. That's greatest hits. Oh, because it's green. Oh, green. Oh, okay, yeah. so greatest hits. But still, greatest still. hits. No, sometimes greatest hits. Are, oh, cool. Rayman, fantastic game. Yeah, found a copy of Rayman, which I've never played. So I'm like, ooh, okay. Now the the, the case is a little messed up. <laughs> and you brought but, it. No, no, no. It was like no, I know, I know. So I got a copy of Rayman instruction book nice. in there. But as you'll see when I turn when I turn the copy of Rayman oh. around. It's Tomb Raider 2 on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute now. Hold on. <laughs> Clearly someone made a, a boo-boo somewhere. Someone wow, look at that. I don't remember that as Tomb Raider yeah, 2. No, Wait a no. minute. She was, she, was a, copy of Tomb Raider she, she was a selling point here. Holy Lord. 
Yeah, so uh, so I got a, I got a, a copy of the Rayman disc and the instruction booklet. And that's phenomenal. That, so. Well, I have to replace the case anyway because it's a little bad. You do, but I would keep all of that artwork as is. Oh no, I'm, t- <laughs> I'm totally keeping that because I agree with you. I don't think in the U.S. we got this. No, I don't think Tomb so. Raider two. No, I don't. Th- no. Oh no, we yeah. might have gotten that Tomb Raider two on the back. But wait, hold on. I don't. I don't think we. I don't think we got. I can't I imagine the uh, what, what's the uh, what's the uh, board. Um, the 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 grading board in Tomb Raider two, no the rating board that oh oh people. ESRB, the ESRB yeah so I don't think uh, I don't think they would have allowed that although it does say on the back here it it is rated Team thirteen oh, there you go there you go so, that yeah, that'll do it so for animated blood and violence um, and booty so um. So that's the uh, I can't don't get worry, to my two I don't matter. I can't get to it anyway. <laughs> so, so got Ray, got Rayman, got uh, got Return okay. to Castle Wolfenstein, and then this one I found, and this one made me very, very happy. Um, also, but also PC. Okay. I think released in 1990. This version of it was released in 1998, mm-hmm. and it and it was uh, the system requirement was Windows 95. Oh wow. Pentium processor, six time six x speed CD ROM drive or faster, and you need eight megabytes of RAM. To oh, pass. look out, folks! Now we're dealing with power. Now we are, and this made me happy. The Dragon's Lair Deluxe Pack. Wow! There you go. That this was really fun to find. All three games. All three games One. and. Two discs. Two discs. Interesting. Two discs set. Very two cool. Set. And then complete. Yeah. No, totally. One other side complete in excellent condition. Yeah. Uh, so that made me really happy because I love Dragon's Lair. I love Space Ace. Super yep. fun stuff. So I want to do a shout out to the uh, Catch a Can Salvation Army for adding these games to my collection. Awesome. Larry. <laughs> I mean, we normally don't talk prices, but because it was the Salvation Army, I'm just going to say it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Three games. No, hold on. Uh, no, four bucks. Close. No. Uh, ten. Oh, okay. That's ten even... Bucks. All right. Ten bucks. Ten bucks for these. Wow. That was really that happy. That's phenomenal. That. Yeah, it was funny. Uh, and actually, what was funny, too, was when I, went, the, uh, when I went to Juno and brought this to the register, she looked at it. She goes... she Because there was no price on it. Yeah. And she just saw a DVD at the top. She's like, 50 cents. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, I looked at her. I said, well, I go, it's a game. She's like, oh, it's a game? $3. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're better off of 50 cents. So, yeah. Uh, so, I wound up, so, overall, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games on my trip. Hell of a haul. Hell yeah, of a haul. And home. notable by its absence, Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> Which and you're still on vacation, and you, you refuse to do digital. So I don't know what you're. I, I refuse to do digital, and I ordered it on Amazon. So the package was delivered. All right, well there you go. Package was delivered, and it's waiting for me. But I don't think I can wait, so I may wind up buying it while I'm here. Oh, thank God, Amazon has a return policy. A very simple one yes. too. Well, you know, it all, well maybe I'll keep it too, just to have a sealed copy. Because yeah, okay. apparently, if I keep a sealed copy for 25 years, I can get it graded and sell it for. This now. is true. But it's such a terrible game. I can't imagine the grading system. You haven't even played it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, very cool stuff that you got there. Yeah. Um, so um, I'm just going to show. I have a couple things to show off, and then All and right. then we'll move on from there. One yes. thing I want to show. I meant to show this a couple weeks ago. I put it up on on our social media, but I just love the fact that I picked it up. Uh, this is the um, uh, the PlayStation Pocket Station. Oh yes, that I did. Yeah. Fi- I picked up from Game On. That's um, awesome. And I put a fresh battery in, so now so we it got it. I got it working now. Oh, very cool. nice. No games can, on it yet. You gonna kill a Tamagotchi on there? I forget. It, there's only like two or three North American games that it works with. One yes. of which is Final Fantasy VIII. So I might, I might do that. Um, but it's it's just cool to have. I just enjoy that. I just got this. So okay, that's cool. Very on that. cool. Um, also, I only got two other things to show. Uh, coming in All for right. the Evercade, and again, I will swear Ooh. by the Evercade. Oh yeah. Um, collection number two of the Commodore 64 collection. Ooh, that's volume cool. two and real oh, fast. Is that yeah. World Games? I just saw on the cover. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. So, what else can you point out here, genius? Oh my god. Uh, no, I just remember I love World Games. Uh, you got California games on the left. All right, you two for two. Um, the other 
That one on the right looks like Tron, but I don't think it can be. No, no, no. no. Uh, I don't know the other ones. Um, All right. Yeah. Don't know so, the other ones. Just real fast. Uh, California Games, World Games, Impossible Mission 2, Pit oh. Stop 2, Sword of Fargo, Street Sports Basketball, which I think Frank has talked about in the past, uh, Uridium, Cybernoid, which I also have on NES. Who's Cybernoid? Nebulous, Fire Lord, Slayer, Zamzara, Insects in Space, and one of my favorite titles, just names for a title, Mission yeah. Impossible. Mission Impossible. So it's Mission Impossible trapped in a bubble. I'm assuming. I don't know. Okay. So uh, 14 cool games on this. Uh, so I got that just the other day. Haven't had a chance to play it yet. But uh, again, the Evercade is yet to fail me. So. Yes. And then finally, for my good friends over at Limited Run Games. Ooh, your favorite people. Yes, after they finally apologized for their they did not uh, apologize. Their unjust doings. I will point that out every time. They did not I apologize. got on Super Nintendo a game called Dragon View. It is an RPG, a real-time 16 meg 3D scrolling adventure, RPG action adventure. I, I was going to say, you're not an RPG guy. It's an action adventure game. So okay. if you, look, you see that there? Right, yeah, cool. action adventure I, I, I buy. Yeah, I can't and see you buying RPGs. I just love this green cart. Ooh, it's not green. For the, yeah, for the Super Nintendo. Yeah, so definitely. I, that's totally snot green. Again, haven't had a chance to play it yet, but I will. Um, speaking of snot green, I did get a confirmation that the Garbage Pail Kids game for the NES has shipped. Hey, about time. So I've, had my di- I've had my digital copy forever. <laughs> yes, you have. So uh, that's all That's all that I got that came in. Um, so not, not too shabby between the both of us. So. Cool. Very, very cool. All right. So let's we'll just keep this rolling along. Um, th- now, what we're about to go over here dropped a couple of weeks ago, um, but I always love talking about this, especially with Anthony kind of not know, not in the know about it. But we have now our final, well, I don't know if you know about it, our finalists for the 2023 Video Game Hall of Fame. Ooh, wait, finalists or selections? Whatever you want to call them. Inductees. Right. Inductees. The, inducti- the, the inductees. inductees have been tried. And no, because I've been out of the loop, I have not. I have not seen this. So what you tell me okay, is good. brand new. I know we went over the nominees. We went over the nominees and yes. uh, four inductees. I thought it'd be more, but it was four. Right, four. Well, they got. They have to start slowing down because they're running. They're going to run out of like really cool games. N- Trust me, when you hear what games went in, there are still plenty of games that are going to be available. Okay. So here we go. Let's, let's hear this. Um, well, no particular order. Uh, nineteen seventies computer space. Okay, that one, yeah. that one, that one definitely belongs in there. Now, it's one, in, of the, one of the first games ever made. Oh, one of the first arcade games, especially too. Yeah, um, the Last of Us from the PS3, which is yeah. always weird because the game only came out ten years ago. Yeah, I, I, I still have an issue with that because, uh, again, Hall of Fame to me feels like it should be more retro. True, but timing oh. never doesn't. It, it's also like cultural impact yeah. and all this other stuff. Right. Yada, yada, yada. And I guess the success and, of the television show. Wait, and you know what it is? It's, these are fan votes, and because of the TV show success, isn't Not, it? Fan uh, it's some fan vote is part of it. Right. But they have some like insiders or whatever doing it as well. So it's not just it's almost right. like, you know, so it's not just but, with, but I'm just saying with the with the, with it, the rousing helped. success yes. of the TV show, it's top of mind. So it makes it makes I understand why it went in. Me personally, I got gotcha. I think it. I think that's something that could have waited. I got gotcha. you. Um, from 1996 on the PC. Uh, yes, folks, I know you've been waiting for it. Barbie fashion designer is now in the Hall of Fame. Really? To be fair, it was like one of the first games really um, marketed towards girls, and you know what I mean. Um, Barbie is a you know hey look Barbie's getting a movie coming out hi Barbie hi Barbie hi yeah hi Ken oh, man which I do want to see that movie it, it um, does it actually does look funny but um see now two in a row I feel like it's it's because of what it's because of what's going on with those brands currently that's I, putting them in I, 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 but maybe again, no no, no again, what I'm talking about you know what then again I've never played Barbie fashion designer so Larry we might have to try it I'm in. Um, I know you are. You have the Spice Girls game. Well, hey, oh, look, uh, quality, all right, over quantity. Uh, talking talking about a game that'll never go into the Hall of Fame. <laughs> There's one. They're in my Hall of Fame. Okay. Yeah, and that just says a lot. I watched a half hour video the other day of just them being in commercials. They had a lot of commercials over there. In really? UK. And like 
Seventy percent of the commercials were all during nineteen ninety seven. And then finally, um, from our good friends over at Nintendo, Wii Sports. Okay, is in the can, Hall of Fame. I can understand that one of the best selling games of all time because yep. it came with the because it came with the system, of course. Basically, basically. But um, but that thing, that thing, kind of like um, I remember everybody talking about it because what was revolutionary about that game is it literally got the entire family to play a video game like everybody loved everybody loved playing um wii sports didn't matter how old you were yep yep and forever in the boston uh situation uh because boston i don't think is still in the rock and roll hall of fame uh goldeneye 007 missed its mark again this year wow for not going into the hall of fame i'm really surprised that that didn't go actually some some in my opinion uh Notable miss would have been, uh, yeah, GoldenEye 007, mm-hmm. um, Quake, Quake, and okay. Wizardry. Wizardry from 81. So, you know, just, th- yeah, but I feel like those oh, games will just get rolled over. To they'll get nominated, nominated again. Yeah, GoldenEye's yeah. been nominated a few times. Just It's just not making it in. <laughs> yeah, so. well, and, and I don't know how many times you're going to nominate it. I mean, it just lost out to Barbie. It's like, what's her face? Who always just get nominated for like a oh a Susan Lucci? Opera? Yeah, yeah Susan. <laughs> Golden Eyes of Susan Lucci at the Video Game Hall of Fame nominees. So, but nevertheless, four good games in all honesty. Um, so congratulations yeah. there to the inductees for the 2023 Hall of Fame. And one day we're gonna get up there to Rochester. We'll get up there soon. So, well, we'll definitely do that. And if we do that, we'll uh, we'll do an episode. Oh, hundred percent. Definitely 100%. do an episode from there. So, oh, you know what? That reminded me. There's one more thing I wanted to show off as far as stuff buying. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I kind of have like an Etsy kick going on. Mm-hmm. And now, don't get me wrong, I can't take this off the shelves. But if you can see behind me up here, yep. by where the American flag is, um, I bought these like shelving systems for oh, NES yeah. and Super NES. Oh, that's really cool. Where they just slide right in. And I also, if you can see here for the Nintendo. Yeah. So, like, if I pull a game out here from the bottom. As you can see, oh, you can't see it. I don't, no, the wrong I, one. but yeah. it won't fall. In other words, yeah. it's a two tier well, system. Uh, we can, I, we can kind of see under yeah. your mic thing yeah. there. So, but no, that just really makes cool. them nice and neat. Um, but what I didn't realize is when I bought the Super Nintendo ones, I miss, um, uh, mismeasured. So they will not fit on the shelves as Oh, uh, they won't fit. So. Uh, I went yeah. one cart too because you can design them be yeah. number of carts high and wide. Well, so. is your is your shelf an adjustable shelf? It is not. No, it's drilled uh, right into the wall. So okay, but uh, but nevertheless, no, not drilled and... into the wall. I'm just talking about the shelves. No, 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 no. The shelves are go... bolted to the wall. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. this is all this was all made from scratch. Mm-hmm. Um, and I want to give a shout out because I've been rocking on Etsy lately. R two D three Productions, uh, with those um with those little shelving cool. units. So very cool. And that's they just some, that's something I would probably buy if I had my games yeah if i had room to put my games on display i've do you have no idea how many times i've already changed this setup behind me and i gotta do it again now of course i'm just i I don't know how to set it up properly yeah so i don't know whatever but in any event it's fine that was very cool if you Um, if you if you let me i'll do it honestly i'll let you because i gotta do it in a way where i can kind of add to it but the problem is i'm kind of adding exponentially at this point so it's a little tough well looking at it i can already Think of ways to take. I'm care not of that. getting rid of anything. I just got to move. Well, a couple of things I can get. Well, there, there the are shelf, a couple but... of un, there are a couple of unrelated there things are. on the shelf. There are, so, but yeah. still, but still, that doesn't make up for much stuff. But in any event, yeah, cool okay. stuff. Very um, cool. and at this point, I think we'll just get ready to wrap it up here. Uh, we'll get into some news. Uh, I actually picked up some news here that I found. Yeah, but sorry, before... sorry, I'm still in vacation ah, mode, so don't... we're having a we're having a shorter episode. Don't just apologize to me off air with a written three page apology. Um, I don't think but... you would read three pages. I would get very bored very. I, I was gonna say I don't think you could read a paragraph. How dare you, sir? Um, while I'm getting the some of it ready, though, please remind our friends where they can follow us and find us. Yeah, you guys can find us on Facebook.com slash Retro Gamers Podcast, on Instagram at Retro Gamers Podcast, on Twitter at Retro Gamers Pod. You can listen to us wherever you listen to podcasts. You can watch us on YouTube at Retro Gamers Podcast, and you can email us at email at the Retro Gamers.com. Yeah, so not a lot of news, but just some stuff I thought was interesting. Well, um, wait a minute. We have to start with the most important news of all. Legend of is- Zelda 
Tears of the Kingdom is out and available now. For those of you who even care about this this amazing new cooking simulator that just came out by Nintendo, hey, uh, they fixed it. They had you can get recipe cards in the game now, so you know how to make your food. This is true. A new uh, like uh, shop simulator of having to build uh, cars and boats and windmills or whatever and whatnots. Yeah. Uh, Which, by the way, the game. Again, I haven't played it yet. Um, then you should not be saying anything about no, it. No, no, I, I can. I'm allowed to, uh, <laughs> because I'm me. Uh, I haven't played it yet, but already on Metacritic as a Metacritic mu- as a Metacritic must play game. Okay. A- average rating uh, across the critic the current critics that have reviewed it. So not okay. okay. Uh, right, not every critic has reviewed it yet. Gotcha. But the a- the average rating across critics gave it a meta score of 96 out of 100 which is incredible because Inc- yeah a lot very few games get higher than a 96 uh, like, no 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 hold on well, no hold on not few hold on. a lot few games very few games get higher than a 96 one of which was actually breath of the wild which had a 97 if i may for just a moment here i'm going yes. to share my screen mm-hmm. uh because i have actually right here the Metacritic, well, that's Zoom. The Metacritic page. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to hit I'm going to hit refresh right now. We're recording on Saturday, uh, May 13th. I'm hitting, so this is going to be the most up to date. Yes. Okay. So let's look. All right. 99, number one. Oh, what happened? Number one. Where'd you go? Number one, 99. There it is. What? Legends of Legends Ocarina, Ocarina, Ocarina of Time. Absolutely deserving. Absolutely cannot, deserving. Cannot, can't argue that. Can't Rank argue number that. one. Yep. All right. And I'm not going to go through all of them, but. Tony Hawk Pro, because a lot of these are, even though they're ranked individually, like you see GTA 4. Oh, hang, hang on a minute. GTA 4 can't six. be, yeah. GTA 4 can't be exactly. three and five. Now, but and I'm not going to count that much because those are all 98s anyway. So that's like a, that's a wash of being a 98. Mm-hmm. But in any event, all right, Ocarina of Time top. Then we got yeah. 98, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. Amazing. Better than Tears of the Kingdom. Ama- amazing game. Grand Theft Auto 4. Better than King's uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Wait, 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 hold on a second. Grand Theft Auto 4 and Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 are not the same genre. Soul Calibur from Dreamcast, 98. Not Better the same genre. than Tears not, of the Kingdom. Not the same genre. Let's keep going. Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 at a 97. Better than yep. Tears of the Kingdom. What, Let's well, keep going. Wait, wait, hold on. One point higher. Let's go. No. Currently. Let's see. Currently. We're up to now 11 games down. Disco Elysium, the final cut. I, don't... I forgot how that game plays. Uh, you Better don't even know you don't, the kingdom. You don't even know what that game is. <laughs> GTA Five showing up again, and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Two All right, showing up. Again. Hold on a second. There, I was going to say there are three GTA Fives. <laughs> there is. Well, that's because that game's been out for like fifty years. <laughs> Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Three, better than Tears of the Kingdom. Wow. Um, I thought go Sk- to, you can I go to Pro Skater. Barcello. Wait, wait. I thought Pro Skater Three was when it started to go downhill, or was it the one after that? It was the one after that, in my opinion. Uh, okay. GT uh uh Red Dead look, Redemption look, 2. Look, GTA 5 again. <laughs> GTA 3 better than Tears of the Kingdom. Well, GTA 3 re redefined the I GTA don't series. Hear it. Okay, Breath of the Wild, the Wii U version. Wow. Better than Tears of the Kingdom. Wait a second. Wait a second. I thought Breath of the Wild was 97. The Switch the, version. The Switch version was 97. The okay. Wii U version is even better than well, the Switch version. Wait a second. Version. Hold on a second. Hold on. Everything from 24 down to Tears of the Kingdom is a tie. They're all 96s. Oh, no. oh, they're all, 90, they're all 96s. I know. That, I know. No, yeah. no, no, no. 90, where are we? 97. I'm sorry. Okay. You're right. I, to be fair, to be fair, you're yeah. right. Because, and then when you and so, then when you, right. and then and then when you squish together. Um, the Tony Hawks, the Grand Theft Autos, Tears of the Kingdom is kind of coming in somewhere between ten and twenty. No, but still, yes, it ninety. The last game on this list to be better than Tears of the Kingdom is NFL Two K One on the Dreamcast, and I'm not knocking these games. No, I'm knocking Tears of the Kingdom. No, I'm I know not you're, knocking these yeah, other games. You're not. You're knocking a game you haven't even played. I've never played. Uh, oh, Metroid Prime's up there. Perfect. Oh, I played Perfect Dark. 
Yeah, uh, Metroid Prime stuff. Which one? Uh, I'm assuming it was the original GameCube one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. Wait. Uh, uh, yeah, number yeah, 19. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So what I'm getting at is that what we're getting there are at, many what we're, games what, better than Tears what, of the Kingdom. What we're getting at here is Larry is not playing Tears of the Kingdom and has chosen to knock and insult a game he hasn't even played. Rude. Not my ratings. Just Those are the professionals yeah. rating the game. Not me. I'm well, the, remember, I'm Rotten Tomatoes as where of, the users well, hold play. on. Uh, as of this recording, Tears of the Kingdom has been out for one day. All the critic reviews aren't in yet, so you got to so, give them some time. True, not true. Because if you were slick enough, um, not slick enough, but what's the word yes. I'm looking for? No, um, no, no. I know what you're talking about because there's a speedrunner who's already completed the game in 92 minutes. Advanced not copies only that, are... Yes. There's advanced copies, yep. and you could have downloaded the Japanese Tears of the Kingdom on the Japanese eShop, which was technically, I believe, released like 12 hours earlier. Oh, really? Like, I have, I have how, a Japanese... How are you supposed to understand Link if you don't know Japanese? I'm sure there's an English yeah. patch in there. Oh, my God. You just missed the joke. Oh, no, Link, no. I, Link doesn't I know. speak. I know. Link doesn't talk. I get it. I know. <laughs> Um, no, I'm so focused on destroying this game. So while you're destroying this game, it may. let's see. While you're destroying this game, let me point out. Let's see. Power Pocket Tactics gave it 100 out of 100. Checkpoint Gaming, 100 out of 100. Telegraph, 100 out of 100. IGN Brazil and Italy. IGN Brazil, 100 <laughs> out of 100. I don't want to hear IGN, IGN Italy. IGN Italy. Wait a minute. No, no. Merge all the IGNs together. Okay, fine. Probably 99. Uh, Eurogamer Germany, 100. PC Mag, 100. Uh, Atomics, 100. Nintendo Nintendo oh. Insider. Nintendo, your, your love. Nintendo Insider, 100. Gfinity. Uh, Gfinity gave it a 60. The Gamer. Let's see what this is all about. The Gamer, 100. Washington Post, 100. Guardian, 100. Uh, Game Gfin Blog, hold France, on. 100. I'm giving, I'd like I, okay. to give a shout out to hold my on. new friends. At, hold, hold on. on. Hold Stop on. it. I, no, allow. I, no, no. IGN. IGN. IGN.com. 100. My new friends at GFinityEsports.com. Who just the hell gonna are read, they? I'm, they're a very smart people. And I'm okay, just going to yeah, read. Sure. I'm reading. I'm Meanwhile, just going to read the headline. Com Wait. Comic, Comicbook.com. 100. Destructoid. 100. Game Am I the, spot. Wait, hold on. Game, hold on. Game spot. Here's 100. Okay, and muted in three, two, one. Okay, Anthony is now officially muted because I'm actually running this part of Zoom. So I will keep him muted just so I can say this much. Gfinity's just the headline. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom review. These tears are salty. Ooh. Ooh. All right, let me, let me unmute Mr. Uh, Anthony in three, two, one. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, He's so, back. He's back. So I was going to say, I'm like, I think you either work for that website or they just described you. <laughs> around, around 30, quote, around, th and, then, and then we'll move on. Around 30 to 40 hours in, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom looks to be a victim of Nintendo's obtuse marketing strategy. <laughs> oh, wow. From <laughs> I love it, this you know, you know what? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that the person on that website probably got fired from Nintendo. Because <laughs> um, just just to share a little bit more, Larry, GameSpot, Gaming Bible, all, most of the IGNs, uh, Nintendo. Wait, wait, Nintendo Life, your favorite website, all gave it a hundred. Too much work, too little reward. Listen, in the world where the majority is not the loud voice anymore. We are standing up for this. Yeah, Those well, of us who give one. less here's, than 80%. To here's one, here's, here's one for you. Game Informer gave it a 98. Happy? That's still, nah, that's like someone hitting the wrong button. So. Yeah. So, and by the way, like when, when was the last time you visited Gfinity? Oh, wait, uh, you just I found be, out they existed. We visited. Now I'm curious who gave it the worst rating. No, uh, they did. They did. There, Actually, I there, think Gfinity did. Yeah, G, like there are some 80s, like Euro they sure are. Eurogamer gave it an 80. But most of the websites we go to, um, they're all in the they're all in the high 90s or 100. I want to know why Forbes gives video games. <laughs> no, 
They did. It's, it's weird. Yeah. yeah. No, no, it's very weird because we've run into Forbes before, but I don't understand why they give video game reviews to Forbes. It's weird. So buy clearly buyer beware with Legend of Zelda, Tears yeah. of the Kingdom. You never know what you're gonna get. So so anyway, for all of you Tears of the Kingdom fans out there, uh, if you want to reach out to us at the places where I listened before, I'm actually this is a, oh we didn't do this. I thought we did this. Already. No, 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 we did. But uh, <laughs> this is a legitimate. This okay. is a legitimate question I have for them. Uh, if you bought Tears of the Kingdom, I'm curious as to which version you bought because there were so many different versions that were available. Like GameStop had oh yeah, a, yeah. a special edition that came with like a wood etched yep. bo- uh, board, which you could probably use for charcuterie. Um, I think Target charcuterie, meat and cheese. Oh, or derbs. Okay. Yeah, charcuterie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fancy words. Yep. Wait. Now spell it. Uh, so, <laughs> don't, no, don't spell it. Please don't spell it. H O R. It's H O R S. I wasn't done. Okay. I know there's apostrophe in there somewhere. <laughs> or doofus. It moves boosh, if you will. <laughs> um, yeah, Target had a version. I think that came with a fanny pack, or <laughs> or a, 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 no, I think they called it a hip pack. I was it for for our fans in Europe. It's a hip pack. Yeah, I <laughs> I almost bought last night. I went on Amazon. They had the collector's edition available with the book and everything like that. There really? was one one left. So apparently they're com- they're going in and out of stock. If you oh, check I think yeah, yeah. it'll be all right. I, I almost bought it and then decided, you know what? I'm already debating returning the one I have at Amazon. So I don't want to buy this one and then be like, well, now what do I do? Because I'm probably going to go out and buy it today. Well, but if you buy, but I. I'm assuming you're going to buy both a regular version and eventually the collector's edition. So you should have just pulled the trigger on the collector's edition. Mm, anyway. Maybe I should have. Yeah, but then both versions wouldn't be with me right now, and I'm not home for another two weeks. That's a different ball game. Yeah. So, right. so, but I can go to Target here and true. get the one with, and get the one with the cool little hit pack. Look, if I couldn't, if I couldn't talk you into Mario Kart Double Dash, I'm not going to talk you into getting uh, the collector's edition right now. Uh, no, but at least I know what I'm buying you for Christmas. How dare you? And it, at least make it digital. So, nope, you're getting a physical copy <laughs> to add to the shelves behind you. Oh, I got I did, you. Have no idea these games. Does anybody want to listen, folks? At this point, I'm going to give it out for free. You know what? If anyone wants a Nintendo Labo ToyCon Four um, Nintendo Switch game, this was the um, this was the uh, the VR set. The you virtual reality the, you set. Mean, you mean the expensive cardboard you bought? <laughs> was it? I mean, it was fun. I put it together, but then I don't have it anymore. That's um, okay. I put together Legos, but they're more satisfying. Just, just message us on our social media. The first one I see within the continental United States, I will ship for free. So there you go. I, I hope somebody buys it from Alaska. <laughs> the continental. <laughs> it's attached. But you it's not to, considered but the lower go, 48. You just, you just have to go through Canada. The lower 48. Um, I, right. You know what? I will hand deliver it on my next cruise. <laughs> that is true, yes. All right, let's let's wasn't move there, on from Zelda. Wasn't, wasn't there news that we were supposed to talk about besides I got, the perfection no pun intended. of Tears of the Kingdom? I got news for it. It was, again, it was, I, and this is a complete reality. It was very hard to find some news that was not related to Zelda. So, and... If you don't want a spoiler alert, stay off of YouTube and stay off of the internet yes. because people are beating this game left and right. Yeah, anyway. which, which which I am doing. I'm staying away. So here we go. Um, so just real fast, I got like three pieces of news here, maybe four. Uh, okay. Classic NES title. Uh, it was originally called Mr. Gimmick, but uh, just called Gimmick now. Uh, will be coming out for the Switch this July. Uh, okay. Mis- Mr. Gimmick was a game only released in uh, Japan and I believe Scandinavia. Very weird, very odd combo. Okay. Uh, it's just a, a side-scrolling, you know, platformer. Um, never released, obviously, here in the U.S. So we'll finally get that version again on Switch. Um, there will be a physical release, but I think a physical Switch release, like not an NES cart. Um, so that's just pretty cool because that's a hard-to-find game sometimes and an expensive game if you do find it. <laughs> uh, next, and this, I don't know if you saw this. There was a po- a quick post uh it's it was the 30th actually i think last year it was but they're celebrating it now um okay. 30th anniversary of mortal Kombat, and there was a video that came oh, out yes yeah 
Yep, there was did. a video that came out like two weeks ago with a lot of like programmers and people involved in the game over the 30 years, you know, thanking, you know, the players for Mortal Kombat. And then at the very end, there's a clock and the clock clicks nine, 10, 11. Oh, was, yes. Was Mortal Kombat 11. But then the clock skips 12 and goes to one. So even though we don't normally talk about rumors too much, it seems like the next Mortal Kombat game might very well be a complete remake and a remaster or re-whatever of Mortal oh, Kombat 1. And that would be really cool. That'd be awesome. They redid Speaking that. Of cool. Oh my God. Can I, I can I turn your camera off from here? No. I don't think I can. Ugh. I can only mute you. I wait, 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 to... wait, wait, wait. It gets better. It gets better. What are the options in this? Oh, I can stop your video. Keep it up. Keep it up. I'll end this episode. <laughs> I would stop your video, but I don't know how to. I don't know if I can restart it. Yeah, let's so, not do, let, let's not pull on that thread. Okay. Mortal, so uh, Mortal, Mortal Kombat, Kombat one. If if they that would be an awesome remaster. That However, cool. I'd like them to go one step further. I want a remaster of the Mortal Kombat trilogy game because I loved that game. That oh, had that, that was the one that had every single character in it. No, true. Well, I mean, if they remake Mortal Kombat one, I I don't think it'll just be a straight remake. Like yes, I'm sure they'll modernize it and everything. Yeah, but it'll just have that feel to it. So. That'd be really cool, though. Um, so that'd be interesting. Uh, for those of you still with a PS Vita, a free, a brand new free game just released or will be yes is available for the PS Vita. It's called Red Moon of April. Oh. Very interesting title. Okay, it's a um, well, it's kind of like a um. Like, like one of those, like, oh, here we go. A sci-fi visual novel. That's what I was trying to get at. Ooh, um, I like those kind of games. Yeah, so it's uh, from a Brazilian development team. Uh, it's a, Actually, it's a follow-up to a Sega, a Sega Saturn game. Oh, Sega? Even, Sega Saturn? I didn't even realize this. Yeah, Sega. Um, uh, a new Sega Saturn game from the same developmental company that was released earlier this year called Red Moon Lost Days. I have to find that. I'm trying to find okay. good Saturn games. So, yes. um, nevertheless, so a brand new Vita game and it's free. Red Moon of April. So you nice. can check that out. Very cool. And um, finally, in this, uh, you know, we're a podcast. Obviously, um, you know, yes. we love other podcasts, and I kind of want to give a shout out to this because it was like the basically the spiritual successor to the magazine, uh, but Nintendo Power podcast. And how fitting that the Tears of the Kingdom review was so much that it was actually their last episode. They oh, will the, no longer wow. be doing. They could not deal with Tears of the Kingdom. They're like, we're done. We can't. We well, can't. Well, actually, actually, it sounds to me more like we have now been in the presence of perfection and we can't possibly top this episode. So we're just going to end right here. Their first episode was back 57 episodes and they were around for five years. Wow. Um, so their first episode was actually about Breath of the Wild. So it's oh, only so they book, they bookended themselves that nicely. they started stepping in dog poop and they're gonna finish uh by stepping in dog poop again. So Larry, Larry, what have I told you about making enemies on this podcast? Oh, if I can make enemies out of Nintendo, imagine how epic that would be. That would be awesome. No, no, I think no, because then we then we get cease and desist letters because they send them to everybody. Um, <laughs> and to be honest with you, I don't want them on my bad side. So, uh, but nevertheless, uh, Nintendo Power Podcast coming to an end, unfortunately. It was a fun podcast actually to listen to. It it really it was weird. It's hard to I mean it's hard to explain it, but it, it kind of felt like the magazine, like it had its different segments yeah. and everything. Uh, and it was just a nice successor to the magazine. Which was very cool. So, so um, I want to give one quick shout out. Go for done. it. No, when go you're done. It. Are you done with news? Oh, yeah. Again, very little news that was not Zelda related. So <laughs> Got it. Um, I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie. Oh, okay. Um, for hitting uh, over $1.1 billion in uh, uh, in the box office. Um, one of, I think it's one of the best, one of the highest grossing animated movies of all time. Love it. Uh, it is the first movie of 2023 to reach a billion dollars. Really sweet. Um, and not only that, but it's opening weekend wound up... Um, uh, beating 
uh, the opening weekend of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which is very surprising. Oh, did it really? I was wondering, because I, I forgot what it was for Mario. Yeah, because I looked up Guardians. Of the, I, re, I really want to see Guardians of the Galaxy when, I, mm-hmm. when I'm back home. Um, but Guardians of the Galaxy last weekend, their, uh, their opening weekend was only 118. Oh, wow. Yeah, which, which I think came in a lot lower than they expected. And I think it was supposed to be like uh, like the last few, from what I heard, the last few Marvel movies weren't up yeah. to par, but they said this no. one's supposed to be phenomenal. Yeah. And the opening weekend for Mario was uh, 146, not counting the Wednesday and Thursday because it released on a Wednesday. Oh, okay, I got you. But just Friday through Sunday, it hit, it was a 146. So yeah, so congratulations to Super Mario Brothers movie. Um, it just keep, keeps climbing up there. That's awesome. Well, congratulations again, as Anthony said. Uh, I wonder where it's yeah. ranked completely overall. I'm trying to find uh, in, ter- find in terms it. of what, like movies actual, of, like, like movies all of all time. Uh, no, it's not. Me, oh, here it if is. You give, uh, if you give me a minute. Uh, well, how did I miss that? Do you have Do you have the all time list? Well, I, I don't know. You might have like actual. I'm looking at uh, Box Office Mojo, so uh, from IMDb Pro. So yeah, you no, might no, have, like... no, no, no. I'm looking at Box Office Mojo oh, okay. as well. Uh, it's yeah. ranked 17. It's uh, actually all time? of all time. Lifetime gross. Lifetime. Gross. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I'm looking at domestic. That's domestic. Oh, it is domestic. I'm sorry. Uh... Yeah. So looking at domestic, if you go worldwide, it's going to be. Uh, I would think it's going to be lower. Uh, so worldwide, it's currently sitting at number twenty four. Still, that's not bad. Yeah, just past uh, minions. Okay. Wait, uh, why am I trying to chase down Iron Man three? But <laughs> there are two. But animated wise, it's the third. That's cool. I like to hear that. Yeah, it's third. So, so, um, so yeah, so good stuff. All right, and with that, we will wrap this I up. Think we and, are done. Yes, I have, so, a, I have, I have more Seattle to look at today. <laughs> yes, definitely go check out the Kraken. Are they playing? Are they still in the playoffs? Uh, they are. They actually oh, are in the playoffs. They lost, but they lost just. Oh, okay. So not a lot of people are going to be. So as usual, Seattle is going to be very sad. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you know what? It's really sunny out, which is that's uh, nice, unusual. Yeah, so yeah, we, beautiful go. weather. We're going to take advantage of it. The home of grunge. Yes. Uh, all right, one more time, Ant, lay it on us. Where can they find us? You guys can find us on Facebook.com slash Retro Gamers Podcast, on Instagram at Retro Gamers Podcast, on Twitter at Retro Gamers Pod. You can listen to us wherever you listen to podcasts. You can watch us on YouTube at Retro Gamers Podcast, and you can email us at email at the Retro Gamers.com. And with that, we're going to call it a day. Ant, enjoy the rest of your vacation. I shall. You have a wonderful week, Larry, and I hope there are some tears of the kingdom in your future as opposed to the tears of sadness that you're always throwing. And with that, even though we're we're dropping after it happens, we hope all you mothers out there had a wonderful Mother's Day this past yes, week. Yes, happy Mother's Day to all. Yes, and with that, folks, we will catch you next week on the Retro Gamers Podcast.